Hey folks, so you're asking yourself, do I really need a scale? Do I really want to weigh my beans? Does it really make any difference to me? Well, maybe it doesn't make any difference to you and that's fine. Uh, and I'm going to explain the reasons for using a scale and why a lot of people do use it. It's called consistency. Not all beans are created equal. So we took these cups, we teared them out. They're both the same exact weight, which surprised us. They both are teared out. We filled them to the top, as you can see visually. The Lavazza on the right and the Bluebeard on the left. This weighs 26.5 grams. This weighs 32.6 grams. So what does that tell you? Same volume, but beans weigh out different. And if you want to get the same consistency in the drink, you want the same ratio of water to ground coffee beans. This one's going to come out of a ratio of 1 to 13. This one's going to come out at a ratio of 1 to 16. Which one's going to taste better or worse? That's really totally up to you. But the reason for weighing your beans or your ground coffee after it's ground, what, it doesn't matter how you do it, uh, is to get the same consistency every time. Like if I'm brewing this Lavazza and I next time I maybe have, oh, let's say 30 grams versus the 26.5 that I just I eyeballed it, the same volume in your cup is going to taste different. It's as simple as that. If it doesn't matter to you, uh, so be it. As long as you're happy with your coffee, that's what really counts. It isn't about perfection if it doesn't matter. It's, it's just about flavor. If you want to get the best flavor or the same consistent flavor, then weigh your coffee and use the same volume of water as well. That holds true for a portafilter as well. I've done some playing around and grind coffee down into a portafilter and I go like this. You've seen me do it all the time. If my finger, as I'm doing that, is curved like this, it leaves a mound and it leaves more coffee in the portafilter. If I go like this, I'm scooping more out. If I flatten it, it's going to be another reading. I did some playing around and I could get it after doing it five or six times. I could, by doing the same every time, I could get the same amount of grams every time. Or if I wanted to alter it, I could and still come up with the same grams. I was altering between 17 and 21. And it was amazing. I, had, uh, I was at a class and they were showing us how to do this and it was, they were showing you how to get consistency. And so it taught me about inconsistency as well at that same time. Same thing with a scoop. You take a scoop, throw it in. Scoop of ground, scoop of this, scoop of that. It's going to be different. Every bean has its own density. The amount of moisture, the amount of oils, that's going to change the weight as well. So if you want everything to be the same thing every time, weigh it. If you're happy with what you're doing, stick with it. Don't mess around with a good thing. Don't, don't fix what's not broken. But that's the purpose of a scale, and we have lots of scales on our website, lots of different ones. I mean, you can go up right up to the Akaya, which uh, is extremely precise, or these are the Harios. There's others on our website. Choose the one that works best for you. And make sure if you are doing just little amounts like this, that's fine. Smaller scales work great. If you want to put a portafilter on, make sure the portafilter will span the scale. And this Hario is right on the edge. So that's what scales are all about. And that's why you want to use one or not use one. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope this was helpful for you. And stay tuned for some more, you know, just little informative snippets that we do for you. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Catch you next time.